Hello everybody, my name is Tom Zobel and I am an RMN admin here at Proval Tech and today I'm going to be showing you just a few tricks related to ticket management in ConnectWise Automate and how that translates over to ConnectWise Manage slash PSA. Um, this is not going to be a thorough examination of how the plugin sync works that is responsible for getting information over from Automate to Manage slash PSA. More so just a few quick things I want to put on your radar that you may not have been aware of that can be very useful for troubleshooting where an alert came from in Automate and working with tickets on this side of things so that you have a better understanding of the system. So one of my favorite tools in here is under Service Desk and Tickets. And all these things are things that require permissions. You should definitely review the permissions matrix in ConnectWise's documentation to figure out exactly what you need to be able to see these items if you are an administrator who works in here often. And if you go to the All tab here, which I will reload for you, you can see a list of every single ticket in the system that's been generated. And you can filter these, sort these, manipulate them just like you could a spreadsheet. There's a lot of good tools in here. Um, if you have the plugin set up to sync tickets over to ConnectWise Manage slash PSA, then these are, this is going to be your full list of every ticket on the automate side. And you can double click into any one of these and see what the ticket looks like on this side of things. And there's some cool tools in here that I don't know that a lot of people um, realize. And one of them is this external. Uh, piece of data here. So this says zero for me because we don't have the manage integration set up on the specific instance of automate. But this external number here is going to be the ticket number in the manage side. If this ticket or if this external flag is zero, then that means that the ticket has not synced over to manage yet. And that can be for a number of reasons, either a, a misconfiguration in the plugin, a uh, break in the communication between automate and manage. But basically, once that ticket successfully syncs, manage will let automate know what the ticket number in manage is, and then automate will keep track of that information. And if you're ever in a scenario where you're like, well, I'm looking at multiple tickets here, how do I make sure that the one I'm looking at in automate is the same as manage? Look at the external flag, and that is how you can tell because this will be the ticket number in manage so that's a tool that i use very often just to make absolutely sure that if i'm troubleshooting something that i am looking at exactly what i think i am so that's a very good thing um, another cool tool is that uh, when you're in the ticket data tab of these tickets you can click on client and it'll bring up the client uh, configuration screen and you can even click on asset and it'll bring up the computer management window for that asset so just another good shortcut to help you navigate around a little bit more quickly. When you're looking at an asset, one thing you might uh, not know of is that you can also view these tickets right from within here. So you can right click on the gear, which is another good shortcut that you may not have been aware of, and click on tickets. And you can see everything that's generated for this specific asset. And you get the same screen when you double click on these guys here, ticket data and external ID, all that good stuff. So if you're ever working in Manage and you are trying to figure out, hey, I got this alert and it's for this machine, where did it come from? You can use either method that I just showed you to kind of help work backwards and figure out, oh, so this is where that ticket actually exists. And then from there, you can look at the scripts that ran against the machine or use the effective policy tab to look at the monitors that ran against, excuse me, that ran against the machine and it's a really good way to begin your journey of troubleshooting down where an alert came from. And it's one that I use all the time when I'm helping partners out with tuning their ticket noise to make sure that I know exactly where something originated from. So I hope that you found this helpful and thank you for watching. We post new videos weekly to share our knowledge about Automate. To learn more, please visit ProValTech.com. There is a link in the video description below.